After installing this extension, you will see an icon in the top left corner. Click on it to start the download. We provide two main methods for downloading. Select to download or download the whole album. If you want to download specific images, click the Start Select button to enter selection mode. Then choose the images you want to download and click Start Download. It's fast and easy. To download all of a user's images, click Download Whole Albums and then click the Start Download button. It's very simple. The same steps apply if you want to download all tagged images. If you need a specific image, simply click on the download icon in the bottom right corner of the image viewer. You can also select specific images from an album for downloading and click download selected images. We also support downloading all highlights in the top left corner. You can download all of a user's highlights at once or select specific highlights for download. In version 3.0.0, we have rewritten the logic code and now provide more flexible configs. Click on Show Advanced Settings to see all features. We have added descriptions for each configuration. Hover over them to view the descriptions. Let me show you the new file naming feature in this version. It designed based on mixed input. You can fully customize the naming format rule or use a preset rule. You can also manually enter content you want. And once leave away from the input, you will see an example of a file named according to the naming rule. Also, you can manually insert fields and making it flexible and meet your needs. In this version, we have rewritten the logic for skipping downloaded files, making it more flexible and controllable. We have listened to user feedback and added the split folder feature, which organizes different types of photos into separate folders for easier management. In this version, we have also added the resume downloading feature, which allows you to continue from where you left off without starting from the first image every time. We have removed the annoying choose folder download feature. Now, all downloaded images will be stored in the default download directory under the Photos Downloader for Instagram folder. If you enable the Gen folder and split folder features, they will automatically generate folder based on the user's name and store images in separate folders according to images type. Thank you for watching.